this opportunity to say a big thank you to everyone who's been watching um, and also subscribing. Um, just going to go over a couple of wee silicon tips today. So one is installing some new silicon on a vanity and one is replacing some old silicon um, that's gone a little bit mouldy. And so I'm just going to go through today how I replace that. So just in a shower at home. Um, Silicon over time tends to get a bit black sometimes, particularly if it's um, around a lot of water. So this is just our shower, and just in that bottom corner here, it's gone a wee bit black, so I'm just going to pull all that out and redo that. sure you get any dust off before you get started. So I've just got this small vanity here in the shower room. I'm just going to put some arctic white between this junction here. One thing I used to do is I used to put masking tape on the wall and also on the vanity. Um, but I have had bad experiences where if the paints hasn't fully cured, so after even seven days, I've found you take that masking tape off the wall and I have pulled we patches of paint off, so I generally don't do that now. So some people might wonder why I'm using the old popsicle sticks. I have used any sort of all sorts of rubber um, spatulas and silicon tools, um, they are all good in their own right, but I've found the old popsicle stick um, works in most places. Um, classic one I find where they do work really well. There's lichen behind taps here. Most of your silicon tools will struggle if you get past here. This is a nice little popsicle stick, heaps of room, easy to get that persistent line all the way through behind the vanity. If you like this, please hit the like and subscribe button. I've got some exciting stuff coming up. See you on the next episode.